Hello plant friends, Adina here from Plants Equals Happiness. Today I was thinking to do a video about how to keep your Hoyas happy during the winter time. And now, uh, because we are in October and the temperature really dropped so suddenly, to be honest with you, I couldn't sleep at all thinking of my Hoyas because when you uh, care for them so many summer months and the autumn uh, comes and the temperature they were really kind and now in October time the temperature really drop like uh, four degrees in the night or three degrees in the night and I was like oh my god we have to do something for my Hoyas so um, I gather all of them and of course I put all my house plants all together and I will show it to you. As you can see, they are all here in my greenhouse because I was really, really worried that they will not survive during the night time. And some of them I put in a humidity box as well. As you can see, they are all happy in there. And, of course, I bought a radiator. <laughs> because you can't really make, make them happy without a radiator. So the temperature in here is, as you can see, is 21 degrees and it's 51 uh, humidity. So they are all really, really happy. And I'm happy as well and I sleep at night without thinking of them that they will not going to survive because as you can see and as you can know Hoyas they are tropical um, house plants so they love uh, humidity and warmth as well you can see my Hoya um, multiflora oh sorry Hoya javanica uh, is in flower but not all the buds open up so I think they will open up because they have plenty of um, heat as well and they are all happy all together some of them which they are they don't have roots I place them in um, my house that is um, lipstick plant variegated one so some of them I place them in my house where they can have uh, more heat because you know when uh, they are rooting they have to have uh, humidity and of course heat as well for them to have roots and I will show you This greenhouse didn't have any insulation. So my husband, my lovely husband, helped me so much to have a peace of mind. Because after you care for them for so many months, and of course you want them to thrive as well, so you think of them to be happy so i will show you what he did and of course the temperature they are still uh, like 10 degrees celsius as you can see you can see he insulate the greenhouse and of course he will carry on you can see what he used he used this kind of material ecotherm so you can see the quality it's really really good so he insulated all round and of course he's going to carry on 
the whole greenhouse to keep the temperature and of course the humidity I'm going to place a humidifier as well so for them to be really really happy still needs in here needs to be covered so he's gonna cover all this space as well so I'm really happy because it's really really warm in here you can see the radiator is doing his job and it's absolutely brilliant and I'm really really happy I have my Hoya Bella as well and you can see the flowers they're absolutely gorgeous beautiful and I'm really happy that uh, he's doing really well I have my Verocosum as well and of course I have my Publicalex uh, Royal uh, Purple Hawaiian look how beautiful it is and it grew so much my god look very very nice my lipstick plant is in flower right now and I'm really really happy very very nice and of course my obovada as well so that's why I was really worried because with Hoyas if they are not happy they drop leaves and I didn't want them to um, drop leaves because look this is my Hoya Ubergier and I am really happy this one it's really happy and you can see the splashes the pink splashes and my Curtisii as well and uh, my um, Latifolia and of course uh, this is Hoya um, let me check for you um, Archio Baldiana variegated and I have uh, Archio Baldiana Archio Baldiana yes white and I do have another one which is green as well look how beautiful this one is and look at the veins it's absolutely gorgeous and of course my Hoya sunrise as well and I am really happy to be honest with you <laughs> because Hoyas they are like my babies besides my daughter so of course you want them to be happy and um, during of the winter time to um, I'm sure they are not gonna grow during the winter time but I want them to uh, to not feel the freeze especially in the winter nights and um, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to open up a shop as well and I'm really happy to be honest with you because um, I have few Hoyas that are, are really um, um, like um, full pots plants and I will show you this is Hoya Shirley as you can see how beautiful and lush this Hoya Shirley is and I'm going to sell Hoya Shirley as well and of course I'm going to sell Hoya this is Hoya Brevialata and Hoya Lacunosa as you can see how beautiful this Hoya Lacunosa is and this is Hoya Mini Bell and I'm gonna I'm going to sell uh, cuttings of the Hoya Mini Bell as well and this is Hoya Matilde with Hoya Choke and I'm going to sell a few of cuttings of Hoya Matilde and Hoya Choke because I wanted to be honest with you a very long time to have my own uh, store to sell Hoyas and uh, trellises for Hoyas as well and you know that Hoyas are my passion so 
um, because the passion that I have for Hoyas, um, I wanted to have my own store. And I will show you more of them. Uh, this is Hoya diptera. As you can see, it's a full growing plant. I have Hoya crinkle 8 as well which is really, really big as well. And of course, I have a Hoya David Kamingiana as well. Um, I will have uh, more uh, Hoya Rebecca as well. And I will show you, I have a cutting, but I have a full uh, grown uh, plant as well. I will show you the cutting. So this is the cutting of Hoya Rebecca. So I'm gonna sell uh, cuttings of Hoya Rebecca as well and I'm gonna sell uh, cuttings of Hoya Fungii you can see how beautiful this Fungii is and of course I'm going to sell cuttings of my Hoya Polynura Brogé look how beautiful this Polynura Brogé is and I'm gonna cut it and sell it because I will be able since I start this hobby, I bought so many Hoyas and I want to be that seller uh, which sells um, very healthy cuttings, which uh, they will have beautiful roots and they will develop in beautiful, um, full lush plants as well. I um, go, I'm going to um, advertise on Etsy instagram and uh, facebook as well so please uh, keep on watching and um, i will um, advertise the trellises for hoyas as well that they are handmade which is in an, another passion of mine because um i was a makeup artist uh this is this that was my job um a makeup makeup artist uh, i was a freelancer for brides and I was doing uh, bridal hair and makeup. And um, to be honest with you, I thought to do tiaras, handmade tiaras as well. So because I have that um, passion for tiaras, I thought to do uh, trellises for Hoyas as well. So of course, small trellises and big trellises as well. I will uh, put pictures on Etsy, on Facebook and Instagram. So I will let you know. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Um, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Plants Equals Happiness for more future videos with content like this about rare house plants and common house plants in general. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye.